Well, world leaders gathering in New York today are expected to commit to a new set of UN goals aiming to alleviate global poverty. The UN Global Goals are the successors to the Millennium Development Goals, which are due to expire at the end of this year. Well, with me now is Francesco Mancini. He's the Associate Professor at uh, the Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy, the National University of Singapore, uh, to talk about this. Now, uh, Professor, tell us just how realistic are these new set of goals when you take into account, of course, that the previous set of goals, the Millennium Development Goals, didn't achieve all they set out to? It is a very ambitious agenda indeed. Uh, this time around, we're going to have 17 goals instead of the eight in the past, include poverty, anger, unemployment, climate change, and even peace and justice. So right. it's a big agenda. And it's, I think, definitely impressive that we have 193 countries to agree on such an agenda at this stage. That's right. It is quite extraordinary that, of course, we've got the uh, Chinese uh, President Xi Jinping in town, the Pope addressing uh, the UN as well. So why is this such a big deal? It is a big deal because it set a path to our sustainable development in the next 15 years. Now, of course, this is the ambition. Now, the challenge comes on Monday when we actually have to implement these goals. And I think it will come up to each individual country to identify the right economic development policy to right. achieve these goals. Right. Why is it so important to have these goals, though, even though, as you say, they're very broad, they're ambitious, that it's tough to achieve them? I think it's very important because, first of all, it focuses the attention of leaders. It gives principles of where to go. Right. And I think this is something that is important to do. At the same time, this is not a plan of action. It doesn't really have a budget. There are estimates of cost for achieving these goals are between three and five right. trillion dollars a year. Right. So who's going to fit the bill? Exactly. So who pays for this? Because, as you say, over 190 countries coming together, not all of them wealthy. Well, of course, there are donors, which are mainly in the Western world, or fought new countries are coming in as donors. Right. But again, this is a universal goal. It's up to each individual government, leaders and people, All to right. achieve these goals. We'll leave it there. Thank you so much for that, Professor Francesco Mancini there from the uh, Lee Kuan Yew School. Thank, Thank you for you. coming in.